Hello everyone, welcome to another awesome Zach's Exotic Zoo video. Today is going to be a great video because I am finally going to be showing you guys all of my pets. So, this is Taco, my turtle if you don't know already. Um, they, she, I've had her for about two years and two months now. And she is just crazy turtle. She never ceases to make me laugh. And she's just a fun thing to have. Uh, she is a red slider turtle. And she's just a great turtle. Um, I do have a good size of tank for her. And that's what you need for a Redder Slider. And I'm definitely going to be upgrading in the future. And yeah, Redder Sliders grow pretty big. So you definitely need a bigger turtle tank for them. But this is my Derp Turtle. You'll also see that I have some fish in here that are getting along with her and growing along with her. I have... I think there's... Uh, three or four tetras in here and then I have this one African cichlid and that's pretty much my turtle tank so let me move on to the other thing so I'm kind of just going in order from around the room but right here are my baby snakes so if you guys don't know already which you probably don't I actually accidentally bred garter snakes last year and it was definitely an accident I didn't even mean for it to happen but we have, we have six, I think there's six or seven garter snake babies in here. Now, you guys might be wondering, you guys might be thinking like, wait, 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 wait. You only, you only have six in here? Why, why is there only six? Shouldn't there be more? And yeah, I did have two garter snakes that gave birth. But sadly, I think we had three or four casualties. We had no stillborns. And we had one very deformed baby, which I will show you after, that died a day after. And then I think we had two or three babies that died uh, a few weeks later, which was very sad. And then the other babies, um, some of them we had to release because they just, they just wouldn't eat. I don't even understand why. But these guys were the ones that stuck around, the ones that ate. And we have them in here. And, um... Nobody honestly wants them, nobody wants to buy them, nobody wants them even for free, which is honestly really sad. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to take care of all these baby garter snakes and I'll grow them up. And unless anybody wants them watching this video, like wants a few of them, but I'll be growing these guys up, probably breeding them in the future, maybe not. But these guys are staying with me probably unless anybody decides that they might want one or two. And since we're moving along again, here is the guppy breeding tank. You've probably seen this because there's been like three or four videos on it already on my channel. But we have, I have some guppies in here, fancy guppies, and two males, which I don't know what kind of guppies they are, honestly, but they're pretty cool. And then we also have a bunch of snails in here. And I think the last video I did that I uploaded was the snails, about the snail breeding. So that should be that should have come out yesterday. So basically, this is they all bred um, accidentally, kind of, because they came with the hornwort. You'll probably hear the story if you watch that video, which I will put a link to it and I an I card right up here. And basically, they just bred. I got some hornwort, and they bred. So they are now pretty much taking over this tank along with the guppies, maybe even more so than the guppies. Moving along, we have. Probably your guys' favorite tank that I have, and that is the Leopard Gecko tank. We have MacGyver in here, which is my adult Leopard Gecko, and we have Skittle, who is probably in that hide. I don't know if she wants to come out today. Probably not going to disturb her, but I'll put an eye card up here to show you guys a video of me recording the day after I got her, which was actually my first video on this channel, which is pretty cool. Now, I know you guys probably uh, think it's weird or you might be upset that I'm keeping two of these in the same tank but like I said just visit that video from before and you'll see why I'm not going to explain it all in this video because I still need to show the rest of my animals so this is actually a 30 gallon tank or no 32 gallon tank and you can see I decorated it pretty nicely and these two get along fine, so like I said before, you can just check out that video if you want to see the backstory and why I'm keeping them together. Moving on to my next tank. So we have another garter snake tank right here. 
Now, these two aren't actually uh, ones that I bred. These two are actually just some males that I got probably about six months ago, seven months ago. Uh, this is Conda, and then we have Jay back there somewhere. They will probably be used for breeding projects in the future, but I don't think I'm going to breed any garter snakes this year. You can see Jay is right there, Conda is right there. And this is really my planted tank. I really don't have any other planted tanks that are not aquariums. So this is my planted tank, and you can see I have this plant, whatever that is. But that grows really well in here. I don't even know the name. This isn't doing as good, but it's okay. Now, I have had these plants for a while, so they're, they're doing good. At least that one's doing pretty good in here. I miss the tank frequently so they can keep growing and then you can see we actually found we got a bulb and we planted it in here a few weeks ago you can see i'm not completely sure what plant this is i know it's not poisonous to any reptiles but we planted it in here and it's just sprouting and it should be growing soon so i'll make sure to do a video on planted tanks when that does grow Basically, this was supposed to be a bioactive setup, but it never really became bioactive because I couldn't get any of the bugs you're supposed to have in a bioactive tank to actually thrive in here. So it didn't really work out as bioactive, but it's just my planted tank for now. Moving on throughout the room, the next tank we have is my beta tank. Beta, whatever you want to call it. But, so I haven't really shown, I've only showed this in one video on the channel. At the time that you guys are seeing this, I'll put it right up there. That should have been like a day ago maybe that I posted that. But my beta, beta, it's in here. His name is Blue. And I don't know where he is exactly right now. I'll try to find him though. So this is my beta or beta Blue. He has a really, really nice platter pattern. And I will, uh, I have to go look and see what kind of, what kind of breed of guppy or morph of guppy, whatever you want to call it, he is. Because I don't exactly know off the top of my head. But I will go show you guys. Uh, this is the tank I have. It's a five gallon. Five gallons are pretty good and pretty decent for guppies. And I might get another female. He's a male. I might get a female in the future and breed them. But I'm not completely sure yet because guppies can be hard fish to breed. So I just looked at my papers, and it turns out he is a male crown tail beta, beta or beta, and I don't know. He's just a really cool uh, beta. He is my most recent pet out of everyone, and so I set this tank up about a week ago. But yeah, it's he's loving it. It's working really good, and he's just a great pet. Moving on to my last tank, but not pet. This is my female garter snake tank. So I have two females in here. Uh, you guys probably already said them, saw them in the shedding video, which I will put right up here. And basically, this I have eating machine and Aurora in here. This is Aurora right here. You can see she has a beautiful orange pattern, and she is a northwestern garter snake. So she is just an amazing snake. She's kind of feisty sometimes, but she they both love food, and they're just crazy snakes. And these both were pregnant. So, she's just a fun-loving snake, and then we have Eating Machine. Sorry, I zoomed in on that right there. Eating Machine is somewhere in here. I'm not completely sure, though. But Eating Machine basically is a... She's a uh, Wandering Garter Snake or Western something Garter Snake. But, yes, she is a Wandering Garter Snake. That's just what I call them because that's her subspecies. And she's quite a bit bigger and thicker than Aurora which is normal, but her colors aren't as vibrant and pretty, in my opinion, as hers. But, yeah. Now, out of the two, I think you can tell which one is m like likes to eat more and is more food-crazed out of the two by the names. So, Eating Machine is insane with food. I'm probably going to have to do a feeding video with my snakes sometime because it's, it's just insane. And I feed these guys worms. I feed all my garter snakes worms that I breed, and I also feed the these guys occasionally uh, pinky mice about, probably about every two or three weeks, uh, they each get one pinky mice. My males aren't big enough for that, and my babies are definitely not big enough for that. But the guppy breeding will also help, and we'll be able to feed these guys some fish as well. 
So I said that was my last tank, and that was kind of a lie, because I have this tank right here. This is my mealworm slash darkling beetle breeding tank. So I don't know why, but for some reason, darkling beetles love my leopard gecko tanks. So I decided to breed them, and they're breeding right in here. They've been breeding for a few days now, and hopefully we'll get some more mealworms and darkling beetles and possibly even be able to sell them. Yeah. I have them. I'm keeping them in about a 2.5 gallon tank, and the substrate I'm using is actually a mix of <laughs> it's a mix of old substrates that I've used for my leopard gecko because they seem to like to eat his poop, which is kind of gross, but it's natural. So, yeah. My last pet is Jessie. Hi, Jessie. This is my this is my family's uh, yellow lab. So, she's a la yellow labrador retriever, and she's an amazing dog. She's currently nine years old, and we love her, and we hope we have her for a, a really long time. But she's just amazing, and she's the best dog ever. Um, so she, I think it was about three years ago from now, she actually broke her ACL uh, running around and playing in the snow. So we had to put her under house arrest for about two years, but she's back now. She still can't run after things, but we can take her on walks now, and she loves to go on walks. And she's just a great dog. Right, Jesse? Yeah. Hi, Jesse. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell to see when all of my future videos come out. Also, comment down below which of my pets is your favorite, and I will try to include them in more videos. Have a great day. Bye.